Welcome to my spoiler free review for Solo, a Star Wars story. So to begin with, my spoiler review will be out later today. It will have spoilers, but my I will have a little general impression thing taken from this video shown at the beginning of that video. So now I'm presuming you guys clicked on this video in order to get my impressions of the film, what I thought of it. So I decided at this point now to move on. So I enjoyed it much more than I was expecting. Was it the best Star Wars film? I don't think so. Was it a good Star Wars film? Without a doubt. Was it better than The Last Jedi, the most recent film? Better execution wise and filmmaking wise in my opinion. Plot wise, I don't think as much because The Last Jedi had much more suspense going on. We really did not know where the plot was going to go. But in Solo, we all knew Han Solo, Lando and Chewbacca were going to survive. So that takes out a lot of suspense, and I was uh, and I was predicting that all the other characters were either going to die, disappear, or something like that. So th I I had no suspense. So the film as a whole had not that much suspense. It had some, like all this I think is enough to say that well certain characters' loyalties die, but other than that. It was not that suspenseful. So if you want suspense, you better forget all of. You better just go find a m mind erasing machine so that way you can forget all the all the sequel and original trilogy stuff. That way you can have suspense, because only then would you like is Han Solo gonna survive or not? But because we know he's gonna survive, that takes out a lot of suspense. So so um. Suspense, emotion-wise, I think The Last Jedi did better, but Solo, I think, definitely did better at execution and getting its story across. It definitely did very well in that. Was it my favorite Star Wars film? I don't think so. But is it one of my top ones? Perhaps. Um, probably in about a month, I will be releasing my updated order for the Star Wars movie, so... Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified when that video comes out in about a month. So that's really all I have to say about my impressions. Um, probably the only not last thing I want to address is, should you watch it? Should you go to the theaters and see it? And I say yes. I think it's worth your time to go watch it. I know a lot of people were apprehensive, as I said earlier, or alluded to earlier, I myself was, but... It's a good film, good, enjoyable, so I recommend that you go watch it. Um, and something else I need to address about that is kind of a new point. You just need to go see it and experience it for yourself to truly understand that it was a good film. And yes, it was a good film. There's no denying that. Were there parts I didn't like? Certainly. There were some parts I was like, I'm not so sure about that. But some of it, like, yeah, I like that. I really like how they did that. So, it's ultimately up to you, but I do recommend watching Solo A Star Wars Story if you have not done so already. So, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And also, subscribe to my channel to be notified when future videos are coming out, including, or I should say, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when future videos coming out. Including my updated ranking of the Star Wars movies in about a month. Get some time to process Solo a bit more. If you understand. Which you should. Makes sense. Uh, I feel like I'm rambling there again. So thank you for watching. And as always, have a good day, a good night. Wherever you are, may the Force be with you. Always.